I want to jump into a lot of the ideas you have around around diet, around exercise and cold and, and et cetera, but maybe quickly to look at what's actually happening with the genes. Because I think you've said that only 20% of our longevity is genetically determined. And you talk about this, this concept of epigenetics and how we might have one set of genes, but actually getting those, I guess, copied over for new cells or getting those being able to be read efficiently or correctly is, is the problem we have as we age. And I think one of your old TED Talks, you really date yourself, is you talk about scratches in a CD, um, where uh, again, I'm dating myself because I know what a CD is, but maybe you can talk to people a little bit about how we can all start with the same DNA, but some people by the time they're 50 are actually replicating kind of more errored cells. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, what I call the information theory of aging. Now the old idea is that we just deteriorate we get damaged cells and we eventually die. The new idea is that we're more like computers where we have software and the software determines the function of the body. And because every cell has different, or has the same DNA, but different functions, each cell has to have a different type of software so that a brain cell works differently than a skin cell. And these software programs are written down as we're in the womb and then born. Over time, what we've discovered in my lab and, and others around the world is that what probably is a main driver of the aging process is that the software of cells gets corrupted. So that cells, even though they have the original hardware, the DNA to function, the software that reads the DNA breaks down. And uh, what we see, we have this big paper coming out in the scientific literature soon that actually is very good evidence that this is true because we can take a mouse and we can corrupt the software and we get it, can get it to age more rapidly, twice as fast. And then we can even, we've discovered there's a backup copy of this, the original software that we can reboot the system and we can get that mouse to de-age, to reverse its aging process and become young again. We used this a few years ago, a couple of years ago, to reset the age of the eyeball in mice and get them to go from being blind in old, in old age to being able to see again. And uh, so it's very exciting that our bodies have this software that can be rebooted and reestablish youth in the same way that you might polish scratches off a CD to be able to play that music again. And what this actually means is that we're not just falling apart, we actually have the instructions to be young again. And now when I look at someone who's elderly, who's frail, who can barely walk, who might even still be bedridden, I look at that person as still being young, they, their body just doesn't know how to read that youthful information. But one day it'll be possible, I'm certain, that we can give someone who's elderly a pill for say a couple of months and reverse their aging process so that they literally don't just feel young, they do become young again. You know, um, my, my grandparents were, um, you know, farmers and, and cattlemen and cattlewomen in Arizona. and. Um, they grew up with these kind of hard working lives, but you know, they also, my grandpa and grandma, they kind of died of heart disease because they didn't really understand their diet. Of course, everybody was probably overeating then and over drinking and over smoking. Um, I know you grew up near the, kind of near the outback and you had a grandmother really that kind of brought you up, but also she aged, you know, pretty rapidly. And I'm wondering, like you said, you look at older people today and I'm wondering if you look at them and you're just thinking, wow, Man, if I had been able to educate you 40 years ago, you could be thriving now as opposed to be in a nursing home. And I wonder if you ever think about that even from, from your own grandmother and your own mother. And I guess that's why you're working on having these, these, these supplements to reverse that process? Yeah, well, I don't sell supplements, but I do work on medicines and I do try to educate uh, everybody on the planet as best I can reach them to tell them that it's possible to live at least 15 years longer, I believe 25 years, 30 years longer, just by changing your lifestyle. And the earlier you start, the better. Uh, in your 20s, you can start this. And, uh, and I do wish that I could have educated my grandmother and my mother, who both died fairly young, and uh, or at least became sick young. My mother developed lung cancer in her 50s, and my grandmother became frail in her 70s. Um, and the kind of lifestyle we're talking about is not that difficult. We can get into the details in a minute. But the point is that with education, you can make a massive difference. If you don't smoke, you don't become obese, you get enough sleep, uh, you focus on plants, you don't overeat, you eat 
uh, less often, skip a meal or two a day, a large meal that is. These things are enough, it's been shown scientifically by looking at tens of thousands of people, very clearly can, you can extend your lifespan by 15 years just by doing those simple things that most people know about already. Now, the kind of things that I add to are nuances on that, as well as, again, molecules and medicines that some, have, some are available right now. I believe we can take that 15 years and make it 25, 30. My father is a good example of someone who did get educated early on and took my advice. He's a scientist. He listens and can make his own judgments. He's now 83 years old. He has no diseases, no aches, no pains, and is just as healthy, if not healthier than he was in his 30s. He's stronger than me. I'm 53. And uh, he's just loving life and he's looking forward to another 20, 30 years to go. And when he was in his 60s, he thought that he'd probably be dead by 75, 80, which is the typical life course of a male who lives in Australia. But he's had to just change his attitude because he's just going on and on and on. And he's watching not only his wife who died young, his his peers who are now many of them, half of them at least are dead now because they didn't do the right things. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener, coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over, the, over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.